We remember that this holiday season, like any, there are families separated for all sorts of reasons, including incarceration. Inmates at the Broomfield Detention Center are working with that city's library so they can connect with their families at home. Hi. We view the people who are incarcerated in Broomfield as citizens of Broomfield. So you can make like a little pop-up card. Mm -hmm. And we really like the opportunity to offer them classes. And we just hook them up to these. So they get to make a card that lights up when you press a button on it. We have a little gap like where that triangle is or leave a, <laughs> leave a little space right here. We know that offenders return to the communities that they have offended in. Uh -oh. And so this is an opportunity to help them develop pro-social skills, <laughs> hopefully to have some impact on recidivism. It kind of helps us feel like we're not where we are maybe a little bit, like we're just normal. <laughs> it's quite possible that this is the only opportunity that these there we go. incarcerated folks will have to send something physical to their children or to their loved ones. I mean, we don't really get to do too much, so. I'm gonna write Merry Christmas, and then I'm gonna write my son's name. I mean, well, I'm not gonna be home for the holidays, so it kinda, it makes me feel better that I'm gonna be able to send out, you know, something to my family and. My son, he's almost four years old, so he's probably gonna be like, wow with this because he's going to see it light up and just really love that and just the fact that it's for me he's probably going to love it too so that's cool that I get the chance to send that to him. It kind of goes the extra mile because we obviously miss our loved ones while we're in here but you know you can talk to them on the phone and you can do all that but this is something you know extra special so that's amazing.